This is a small car boot book haul video. Not as many as I normally pick up from the car boot, but a few to show you and a few interesting ones that are probably worth you keeping your eyes open for. This is footage from August, so I can show you what's sold at the end. Hi, I'm Tina. I'm addicted to books. I buy bargain books to read and then resell. I grabbed this pack of Anthony Horowitz comedy books. I paid £2 for these. Um, I thought it was a complete sealed set, but um, then I realised there's actually one missing. So I'm probably going to open them and read them before selling them because they're not worth a great deal of money. But I think they'll be a fun read. And I quite like small books because sometimes you need a small book just to feel like you've achieved something. Ray Bradbury's Fahrenheit 451. I read this Oh, ages and ages ago and um, I don't think I ever actually had my own copy of it so as it was 50p I picked it up and this is a very old edition it hasn't got an ISBN I think it's 1965 yeah so it's not a first edition unfortunately it's a reprint in 1965 and it's not in the greatest condition so I doubt it would have much resale value I think if it was in really good condition it might fetch a little bit but um, I'm probably just going to keep this, reread it and keep it. I grabbed a Grand Theft Auto 5 Signature Series Guide. I think this is Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 um, game guide. Um, but I guess you could probably use it for the PC version as well. They sometimes sell well. I think I paid £2 for this. Haven't played Grand Theft Auto 5. Not my kind of game. Not very good at driving games. Grabbed a Roald Dahl audio collection. This is 16 MP3 CDs. <laughs> so it must have quite a few books on. Um, let's see how many. Oh yeah, so a runtime of 41 hours. 16 unabridged MP3 recordings. And they're read by people like Bill Bailey, Kate Winslet, Hugh Laurie, or Richard Awiwadi. Yeah, some quite nice readers there. But um, I picked this up because it was new and sealed. I paid £1.50 for this. And I'm hoping to sell it for about 25 maybe. Read all of these books. Loved them. Can't fault Roald Dahl. I grabbed these three for a pound. We have The Invisible Library by Geneve Cogman. I don't know why, but the name of this book just rang a bell to me. I'm sure... It, well, it's been on my radar for a while and then and the name of the book just sprang out so I thought well yeah I'll pick it up and give it a read obviously it had come from a charity shop in the past <laughs> um, right, so that's one for me to read don't think it's probably got any extraordinary value or anything um, and then these two by Janice Hallett I just um, liked the covers to be honest and they sound like sort of murder mysteries so I thought they might make an interesting read as well and maybe sell the two together in the future. Picked up this stack of Catherine John books. Black Daffodil by Any Name, Murder of a Dead Man and Amber Knight. Um, I picked these ones up for a pound for all four. Don't really know much about this, to be honest, but this says it's in based in Cardiff. And seeing as that's near where I live, um, I thought that might be quite an interesting read. Um, but look, it's actually signed by Catherine John. And so's that one. And so's that one. And so is that one. <laughs> Random. So four signed paperbacks in really good condition by Catherine John. As I say, I don't really know much about the author. I just picked them up because they're a set of four and I like the look of them as I read. So I have no idea if they have any resale value, especially as they're signed. But um, I will wait after I've read them. I will find out. Um, if anyone has any ideas, if they've got any value, let me know. So apart from a couple of jigsaws and an old game, that's all I picked up. But my husband when I caught up with him, said he'd found me some books. And he found me some fighting fantasy books because he knows what I like. <laughs> and he did really well here. He paid £3 for these, so 50p a book. 
So Warlock of Firetop Mountain by Wizard, uh, Citadel of Chaos, Forest of Doom and City of Thieves. Those four are quite common ones um, and the Wizard versions are now coming up in price. So, uh, and I've, I've got these four. Um, so I'm going to compare them to my ones, keep the best condition ones, and sell these ones on. So yeah, as I say, I've read these, I've got these, I think I've actually got these additions too. So as I say, I'll see which ones are best and sell the others. The other two that he picked up were Trial of the Champions, which is a much rarer book because it's a number 12. And this one has a bit of value, but I don't actually have this one. And it's a it's a sequel for the Death Trap Dungeon. So I'm going to be really pleased to keep that one and add that one to my collection. Because it's one I haven't got. So I'm quite chuffed with that. And he also found in that pile the Curse of the Mummy, which is number 27 in the series. And this one's got a lot of value, surprisingly. Um, I think this one's probably worth about £20 on its own, maybe even more. This one's in really nice condition. But this one's staying in my collection as well because I haven't got this one. And I never read the old green version either. I never had that. So yeah, this one's uh, definitely a keeper for me. But these two, any of the high number wizards, I would say keep your eyes open for because they do have quite a bit of value in themselves. But these are mine to keep. That's an early birthday present, I think. And that's about it for today. Not a massive haul. Didn't do too badly, probably made my money back with the Roald Dahl collection, that fully paid for everything that we picked up today. Um, and everything else is a bonus really, so uh, not too bad. Right, got to find somewhere to put them now. Let's take a look at what's sold. <music> That's it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Right, I'm off to read a book.